Hello everyone, Emma Power here, and welcome back to a new video. In this one, I'm going to be looking at some Gyarados EX deck lists from Scarlet and Violet. So Gyarados EX is a 300 HP stage 1, 2 prize Pokemon. So high hit points for a stage 1, rivaled only by Regigigas V-Star, come to think of it. And it is a terrestrial Pokemon, so it has the effect this Pokemon does not take damage from attacks while onto the bench. So not a huge buff, but it is built in bench protection, so against stuff like Radiant Greninja or Amazing Rare Raikou, it is pretty nice to have. It's also got Weakness to Lightning, which is pretty grim, to be honest, because Lightning decks are looking to be pretty good post-rotation. There's stuff like Maridon, so Magnazone and Ampharos will likely see a lot of play, so Weakness to Lightning is pretty bad. No resistance, and then Retreat cost of 4, so you will have to be playing some decent amount of switch outs, such as Escape Rope or Basic Switch. So what does Gyarados EX actually do? Well, its first attack, Waterfall, for 3 water energy, does 100 damage, which isn't anything special, we don't really care about this, it doesn't really knock anything out, and it's not too important. However, the second attack, Tyrannical Tail, for an absolute whopping 5 energy, 3 water, 2 colours, so the double colours can be paid for using a double turbo energy, does 180 damage, which seems pretty underwhelming at first, but if your opponent's active already has any damage counters on it, this attack does 180 more damage. So basically, even if our opponent's active has as low as 1 damage counter on them, we will be able to do 360, which will basically knock out anything in the game. So think of like a Duraldon VMAX, which has 340 HP, you know, you give it a... or 330 HP, I should say, sorry. And if you give it a big charm, it's going to be really big. And then you just sprinkle 10 damage on it using something else, and then Tyrannical Tail can just take a free 1 KO. Problem is, you do need 5 energy, which is probably the worst aspect of this card overall. I like the fact that it's got 300 HP. I like the fact that, you know, it's a single prize stage 1 Pokemon. But the fact is, you do need 5 energy for Tyrannical Tail, which is a pretty big deal. So this first list I'm going to take a look at plays a 2-2 line of the Gyarados. And then it also plays a 2-2 Palkia line, a 2-2 Vulpix line, 1 Luminion, and 1 Radiant Blastoise. So Palkia V-Star is naturally just a great option for Gyarados because it has the V-Star power which allows you to accelerate three basic water energies from the disco pile to one of your water type Pokemon. So basically you can use Palkia to accelerate the three of the energies up to Gyarados and then attach a double turbo to do the 360. And if you've been able to place damage counters with Blastoise on potentially multiple different Pokemon, then obviously what you can try and do is put your opponent in a situation where you do some damage with Palkia, maybe they have to knock out Palkia. Then you come in there with Gyarados, fetch so 300 HP. Then you take a knockout with Gyarados, and then your opponent hits into Gyarados, and then you just hit into them again and take the final prize cards, because Gyarados can at least tank a hit, being 300 hit points. The deck also plays 2-2 two -two Vulpix, which is really interesting. Um, you are playing double turbo, so I guess there's at least a little bit of synergy there. Also gives you an alternate V-Star power to use, but we probably won't be using it. But the main attack, doing 160 and then going through effects, as well as Pokemon with abilities, parental damage done to Vulpix from abilities, I should say. So you can protect yourselves against stuff like Maridon and Coridon, as well as Gardevoir attackers. So there's a lot to like about Vulpix, actually. Moving into this new format, there is plenty of attackers that have abilities, so Vulpix could be an interesting one for sure. Also, the 160 damage doesn't really matter too much if you're going for 2 kill with Gyarados anyway. Then one the minion V for support, and then the Radiant Blastoise, as we said earlier, just allowing you to play some damage counters. Big choice over Radiant Greninja, which is arguably a far superior Radiant. The Radiant Blastoise in this situation is pretty good. Then the trainers, nothing too crazy here. Probably the most interesting aspect is there's a Lost Sweeper in here for some reason. I'm not sure why you need Lost Sweeper. I guess it gives you a bit more stadium control or against stuff like choice belts, but I don't think you need Lost Sweeper, honestly. Two escape rope, two XP share just to help chain the damage or chain the energy, I should say, a bit better. Also see three research, three Arida, two judge, one Raihan, two boss, two Lake Cutie, so you take 20 less damage if you have a water energy attached, and then a split of double turbo and basic water energy. Next list is going to be fairly similar in many aspects. It plays 2 2 line of Gyarados again, 3 2 Palkia, so a bit heavier in that count. And then we also see no Radiant uh, Blastoise and no Lone Vulpix. We're just going back to Radiant Greninja. And also playing the new Halucha that says when you put it from your hand onto your bench, you may place one damage counter on two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So what you can do is Radiant Halucha to soften up two Pokemon. 
And then basically what you're telling your opponent is if they ever try to attack with this Pokemon, you can come in there with Gyarados and just swing for 360. So Radiant Halucha is definitely a good choice for this deck overall. But yeah, I'm not sure how to feel about just going back to straight Palkia because you're only having two Palkia V-Star to attack and then two Gyarados to attack. Seems a little bit sketch, but because you have Radiant Blastoise in here, you do have a really good option to, you know, V-Star power from Palkia over to Radiant Greninja and use that spread option if you really want to. So I do like this list in that regard. But yeah, pretty similar on support account, almost identical, I think. And then the trainers are very similar once again. So this third and final list is going to be a much heavier count of Gyarados 4-4 line. Also notice we're playing the Magikarp with the team attack that does 30 more for each Gyarados and Magikarp in your discard pile, I believe. So it's a nice secondary attacker option if you really want it. There's also 4 Cryogonal from Evolving Skies that allows you to look at the top 6 cards of your deck, attach as many basic water energy, and attach them to your Pokemon any way you like. So basically we're going to use Cryogonal to accelerate all the energy to our Gyarados and Magikarp. We also see a 1-1 line of Basculegion, the Basculin allowing you to search your deck for two basic Pokemon, put them onto your bench. Then the Basculegion with the upstream spirit attacks, doing 20 damage for each basic energy in your discard pile, and then you shuffle them back into the deck. So we are playing 20 energy, which is quite a lot, to say the least. We are going to be discarding plenty with Research, Ultra Ball, Radiant Greninja, and all the rest of it. But yeah, quite a lot of energy, and it does mean that you have Basculegion as an alternate attacker as well in the late game. But overall, I'm not sure how to feel about this list. Um, I think the other two are just a bit better. You know, Cryogonal is a bit of a risky option, to say the least, to try and accelerate energy. I do like the fact that, you know, it's more of a focus on Gyarados and Magikarp than the other decks were, which are basically about Palkia and Lone Vulpix, really. But I do like this list. I do think it's kind of cool. There is some nice stuff in here, like the XP share again. There is an Energy Recycler as well. There's Avery, Palpad. You know, Clara as well, even Gape Draw Bog made it into the list. So there are some cool options here. And yeah, interesting to see how this one plays out. But yeah, thank you for watching. It's been Air Power. Let me know what you think of Gar Gyarados about Gyarados down below. And yeah, hope you see you next time. Thank you for watching.